In this video, we are going to explore about the application of trigonometry in our daily life with an example of one of the famous temples of Himachal Pradesh, the Bhaisnath Temple. Before jumping directly into the topic, let me give you a few information about the Bhaisnath Temple. The Bhaisnath Temple is a Nagra-style Hindu temple situated in a small town of Bhaisnath located in Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh and was built in 1204 AD by two local merchants named Ahuka and Manipa. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva as Vaidyanath, the Lord of the Visions. According to inscriptions on the present-day Vaishnath temple structure, a temple of Lord Shiva had existed before the construction of present-day structure. The inner sanctioned houses, a Shiva Lingam, further images are carved in the walls of the niches of the exterior. Now, let's come to our main topic. What is the significance of trigonometry in engineering and architecture? Much of architecture and engineering relates on triangular support. When an engineer determines the length of cables, the height of support towers and the angle between the two, when gauging weight flows and bridge strength, trigonometry helps them to calculate the correct angle. Let us consider a situation. Now, I am right in front of the Bajanath temple. If I am standing like this and looking at the top of the temple, let's say at a particular angle. Now, you can see the line of sight and the horizontal line. The angle between the line of sight and the horizontal line is the angle of elevation. Let's say that the angle of elevation here is theta and I know that the height of the temple is 998 meters with the help of internet. Now, if I know the angle at which I am looking at, can I find how far I am from the temple? Yes, we can using trigonometry. Now, let's work this out. Let's make the figure even more easier. Let's say that the angle in which I am looking at is 30 degree. I know that the height of the temple is 998 meters. Let us consider the base distance as x meters. How can we find x? Which trigonometric ratio is appropriate here? Yes, it is tan. Taking tan 30 in triangle ABC, we get AB by BC. We know that the tan 30 is 1 by root 3, which implies 1 by root 3 equals 998 by x. We get easily x by cross multiply. x equals 998 root 3 meters. Now, I am at the top of the temple. I am looking downwards at a person standing there. Let's say that the angle is 45 degree. Here, the angle of depression of the object view is angle formed by the line of sight, the horizontal, when it is below the horizontal level. Here, the angle of depression is 45 degree. How can I find the distance between me and the other person? Let's make the figure even more concise. Let AB be the height of the temple and AC be the distance from me towards a person. Here, angle DAC is equal to angle ACB because alternate interior angles are equal. Now consider triangle ACB. In order to get x we have to apply sine. So applying sine 45 we get sine 45 equals AB upon AC that is 1 by root 2 equals 998 over x and so x equals 998 root 2 meters let us consider a quite more complicated question. Now, I am standing right here and looking towards this top, making an angle of 30 degrees. Now, I walk a few steps forward. I found that the angle of elevation changed from 30 degrees to 45 degrees. We know that the height of the temple is 998 meters. How can we find the distance I covered to change it from 30 degrees to 45 degrees? Let's say that the distance I covered to change the angle of elevation from 30 degree to 45 degree be x meter and rest of the distance towards the temple be y meter. We know that the height of the temple is 998 meters. How can we find x? In triangle BDC, let's take tan. Tan 45 equals DC by BC. We know that DC is 998 and y is unknown. So tan 45 equals BC by BC. We know that tan 45 is 1. 
So 1 equals 998 by y. We get y as 998 meters. Consider a whole triangle ADC. Here, applying tan 30, we get DC by AC. But, D, but AC is AB plus BC, that is X plus Y. We know that tan 30 equals 1 by root 3. So, 1 by root 3 equals 998 by X plus Y. After cross multiplying, we get X plus Y equals 998 root 3. But we know that Y equals 998. Putting the value of, value of y from equation number 1, we get x equals 998 root 3 minus 998. That is, x equals 998 into root 3 minus 1 meters. So, the distance I covered to change the angular elevation from 30 degree to 45 degree is 998 into root 3 minus 1 meters. Now, I am standing at a position A. And I found that the angle of elevation of the top of the temple is 45 degrees. Now I am at point B and I found that the angle of elevation of the top of the temple is 60 degrees. We know that the height of the temple is 998 meters. Then how can we find the distance between A and B? Here the angle of elevation from point A is 45 degrees and the angle of elevation from point B is 60 degree. We know that the height of the temple is 998 meters. Consider triangle ADC applying tan. We know that tan theta equals opposite by adjacent. So tan 45 equals ADC by AD. We know that tan 45 is 1. So 1 equals 998 by AD which gives us AD as 998 meters. Let's call this equation number 1. Consider triangle BDC. Here also, applying tan 60, we get tan 60 equals DC upon BD. We know that tan 60 equals root 3. Root 3 equals 998 by BD, which gives us BD as 998 by root 3 meters. How can we find AB? From the figure, it can be clearly seen that AB is AD plus DB. Substituting the values, we get AB as 998 plus 998 by root 3. Taking 998 common, we get 998 into 1 plus 1 by root 3, which gives us an approximate value of 1574.16 meters. Trigonometry has various applications other than calculating heights and distances. The calculus is based on trigonometry and algebra. The fundamental trigonometric functions like sine and cosines are used to describe the sound and light waves. The trigonometry is used in oceanography to calculate the heights of waves and tides in the oceans. It is used in the creation of maps and used in satellite systems. Thus, we conclude that trigonometry plays an important role in our day-to-day -day life. I would like to conclude my video by saying a famous quote said by Shakuntala Devi. Without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. That everything around you is mathematics and everything around you is numbers. Thank you. I would like to thank our school principal Rani Miss for giving me the opportunity to do this project. Then, I would like to thank our mathematics teacher Savda Miss, whose valuable guidance has been the one that helped me pass this project and make it successful. Her suggestions and instruction has saved as a major contribution towards the completion of this project. Then, I would like to thank my parents and friends whose guidance and suggestions helped me in various phases of the completion of this project. Thank you.